Hey everybody, welcome back to Brew Crafters. Let's get back to making that sweet beer. And I thought about trying to do a Homer Simpson gurgle beer gur, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna embarrass myself. Let's just jump right into it. Okay, so I'm still the first player, and what do I want to do? There are many options, but I think even though it's a bit dangerous, I'm gonna go ahead and hire another skilled worker. You know, and every additional one of these guys or girls that I hire is gonna, you know, put me further and further in debt. And I might have to start taking loans to cover all these people's salaries. But Ah, they're all so good. I'm going to grab the event planner. And so that means I now owe an extra dollar every round. So I cannot cover expenses at all. But this power is, um, I get, well, first of all, I get one ingredient right now, immediately. And I needed one more malt. And that was what I needed to be able to brew something this turn. Um, I'll be able to do an everything ale. Everyday ale. And... From now on, whenever I use the fundraiser market action space, in addition to getting two bucks, which you always get, I also get an ingredient of my choice. So this, for the rest of the game, has made the fundraiser space much more attractive for me. So I'm pretty happy with that. And now it's Jen's turn. And what is she going to do? Ah, let's see. I think Jen's going to come over here. But not to grab the two bucks and first player, but instead to form a local partnership. Remember, I said up front, you can do a partnership with the coffee roaster and the spice porter. And I think with like four and five players, there's a couple of additional ones of these, but in the two player games only. So Jen now has a partnership with the only local spice importer. And that means from now on, whenever she wants, she can convert as many times as she wants, as often as she likes, one basic ingredient into one spice. And the reason she went and decided to grab this, she was looking around and she noticed one, or is it not? I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five. Five of the six special ingredients require spices. And to get spices, normally you have to go to the advanced market, um, you know, which is, you know, it's a good action, but, you know, it's a, it's a while. But now Jen, she can just turn anything into spices, and that's going to make it much easier for her to make these. Plus, unlike the two bucks I'm having to pay for these guys, having a local partnership doesn't cost anything. So Jen's giving herself a special power without it costing a dime. And now it's my turn again. Let's see here. And all those hops are calling to me. But you know, I've got what I need to start brewing. And I need to be thinking about, I'm gonna need either spices or coffee or fruits as well. Once I've done every, um, you know, everyday ale, I can get into high country or I can get into pumpkin ale. High country requires two spices. Pumpkin ale requires one fruit and one spice. High country ale also requires five hops. That's crazy expensive. Making, I, I, be, I bet you it's the most valuable. Yeah, high country ale is worth eight points. Um, espresso stout is worth seven because it needs two spices and a coffee, so it needs three specials. And let's see, noir is only worth five points. So high country is the best, and I'm gonna unlock high country as soon as I make an everyday ale. And that means to be able to brew this stuff, I'm gonna need a lot of hops. But I'll need, um, but if I want to go for pumpkin, which is worth less points, but it's easier to put out and, you know, then start producing, um, maybe I want to come over here because I can get a couple more malt because I'm going to need more malt and I could either get the spice or the fruit that I need. So I'd be halfway towards making pumpkin ale. You know what though? I'm going to go in big. I am going to go and grab all these hops. Four hops. Oh, that's another thing I got to worry about. What's my storage space? Remember, I can only store 12 things in here. I've currently got six. And by the way, it's interesting, this uh, space, my warehouse space, is exactly big enough to hold 12 things. So my warehouse is almost full, but I was able to grab all those hops. I've still got two more space. So that was uh, my second action. And now Jen's second action, in all honesty, Jen was totally going to do that. Shoot, what is she going to do now? She really wanted those hops. Um, hmm, let's see. I think she'll go to the advanced market so she can get, because she needs to be thinking about, right, she's already made some pleasantly for She can just keep on banging this stuff out. But we're in a race to make this good, this better stuff. The first player to make noir um, or high country or pumpkin ale or whatever, you know, you get this badge. These are worth three points at the end of the game if you're the first person to actually sell this stuff on the market. So we're in a race to be able to do this. Um, let's see. And she knows she's going to be going for the Spitfire, which only requires one fruit, as opposed to Noir, which requires a fruit and a coffee. 
Now, the interesting thing is, remember, Jen can get fruit anytime she wants. No, no, Jen can get spices anytime she wants. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. And Spitfire takes spices. This takes spice and coffee. You know what? And Noir is worth five as opposed to four. So I think, yeah, Jen's coming here, and she's going to get herself some coffee and either one hops or two, or, or you know, two malt or one hops. Um, let's see. She'll go on ahead and grab... Oh... She will grab one, one hops. Right, okay. So there. There she goes. Okay. So that was it. We're done with that stuff uh, in summer. Now we move on, and I'm still the first player because Jen didn't take from me, even though she had the chance to. And so now I'm going to come over here first, and I'm going to install some new equipment. I could do some more research. I could actually process beer now, but I want to wait until I've installed my brew pub. So I'm going to put this in. It doesn't cost me anything right now, but it has raised my overall operating costs once again. Now, at the end of the year, at the end, in winter, I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bucks, and I've only got six. So that ain't good. Um, ouch. Alrighty. Which means if I don't make money somehow, I'm going to have to take a loan, which will get me the two extra bucks I need. But the first loan I take is worth negative two points at the end of the game, and every additional loan is negative three points. But you know, this is very Martin Wallacey. At the end of the day, there's no reason not to go into debt if it'll get you ahead. Um, so anyway, so I did that. And next turn, next turn I will brew. And I'll get extra points because I've got the brew pub manager in my brew pub. Oh, it'll be, it'll be glorious. And now it's Jen's turn. And... She cannot um, process any beer as much as she'd like to to get this through to start making some money. Now, she could also install some equipment or she could do some research. I think she is also going to install some equipment and for the first time, she's going to up her operating costs. She's going to give herself a yeast lab and it comes over here. And now what that means is now that Jen has a yeast lab, every time she does lab research to move up on any of these, she gets one yeast for free. And actually, if I recall correctly, I think she gets a yeast immediately. Yeah, Jen gets one yeast right now. And you only ever need for any, as far as I know, I, I haven't looked at all of them, but for any recipe, I think you only need one yeast. So Jen's got the yeast she needs to be able to brew something if she gets some more basic materials. Okay, and from now on, whenever she does research, she gets another yeast for free. Yeast is kind of like reed. It's, you know, the rarest and most valuable things. You need it for everything, much like you need reeds for your roofs in Agricola. It's always easy to make a lot of, anyway, all right, so we've both done that, and that's it. Summer is over. Now let's move on to fall. We get our workers back. Bump, bump, and bumpity bump. And if somebody in the, at the beginning, in spring, if somebody had actually installed a farm, they would have had the opportunity during spring, anytime they want in spring, to plant hops um, and or a fruit. You know, two hops, two fruits, or one of each. And then right now, as soon as you hit fall, they would be harvesting three and, two, three and or two for each one of the things they planted. Although neither of us did it, so we're gonna ignore that and just go straight back into the, um, the, the working work. And now, remember I said I was a little bit worried about money, but what I can do now is I can go do a fundraiser. That will immediately make me two bucks. And so now I've got the eight I need, right? Because I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, so I'm gonna be able to cover my expenses. And remember, because I have an events planner, this lovely lady who knows how to put on a good party, I get one ingredient immediately of my choice, uh, you know, a normal or an advanced one. Now, let's see, I've got what I need for my everyday ale, and then I'm thinking in the future about the, I'm gonna need um, two spice, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab one spice. Right, uh, yes, there we go. And my warehouse is almost full, but I'm probably gonna brew something this turn now that I finally got my brew pub. So. Uh, and now my, my operations are covered, and now it's Jen's turn. And so now, for the first time, I have given her the opportunity to get a skilled worker. Oh, whoops, wait, 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 I forgot though. We have to refill. Another buck shows up here, and this might actually change my mind, instead of just grabbing those three bucks, because now there's six malt there, look at that. Two in the hops, and two yeast. Oh, you know what, I think I'm not gonna do that right away, because, you know, I'm not that worried about Jen taking it. Jen hasn't really incurred any um, costs. It's not like she needs to come here. So I think I'll wait. Although here's the problem. I don't have the storage space to hold all this stuff. Although, wait, no, that's not entirely true. In my brew, because I have a manager, I can store up to six cubes in my pub. So that means I've got room for one, two. I've got room for eight more. Yeah, 
I gots to have it, folks. I gots to have all this malt. Look at that. And I'll just put all of it over here in my brew pub because the manager somehow found room to store it all. Lovely. Benefits of being first. Okay, so I went first. And now, like I said, for the first time, that has left it open to Jen. She could actually hire a, you know, a super powerful worker that would give her some type of power. Um, let's see, what is her cost? She's got one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, right, she only has six operating costs. She has seven bucks already. She doesn't need to, I mean, so she could afford to hire somebody or she could afford to build something else as well. Um, let's see. And now the thing is, when we get to the brewery, is she going to want to, does she want to get enough goods so she could start brewing something else this turn so we'd start pushing this through? Or does she want to do some research so that her yeast lab will generate her additional yeast? And if that's the case, yeah. Well, let's see. Hops convert. Take four hops immediately. Just like that. That would give Jen enough hops to be able to make um, you know, noir or spitfire. And anytime you can convert one hops into one yeast. So that's pretty cool. So Jen would have lots of opportunities for yeast. Although yeast builds up over here if you don't take it there. Uh, let's see, and there's a yeast market insider. When you receive only yeast from a market action space, take an equal number of malt. So if Jen were to grab this right now and grab these yeasts, you know, that's nice. The barley grower. Take one malt immediately in addition to pine. Okay, so this improves your farming ability. When you're planting two items as normal, you can also plant a malt in the spring. Yeah, okay, that's normal in spring. And harvest malt. Uh, normally, you can only do hops and fruits, but now you can do malt as well if you've got a barley grower. Barrel house manager. Get one additional victory point for each batch aged in a barrel house. And I didn't mention that. One of the upgrades um, is a barrel house. And you need a barrel house if you want to make this, because you can see there's a little barrel. There's a barrel on this stout and this stout as well, as well as pleasantly stout. So um, that's something to bear in mind also. Okay, so, um, and then this makes the barrel house manager that much better. You can uh, store stuff in the barrel house and um, you get a rep every time, an additional point every time you make something. Right, so a farmer, he just makes your, if you build a farm, he makes it better. Um, one additional fruit for every planted fruit. A hops expert, take one hops immediately and then one free hops when you receive at least one hops from a market act space so you can really start drowning in hops. And the brewmaster, when you do two batches at a time. Now I have the opportunity to do two batches at a time. I could, if I do the brew action, I could do one here and one here, but I'd have to have enough stuff to be able to brew in two places. And this guy is, whenever you do two in a row at a time, you get a victory point. And if you do three, because you can upgrade your line to be a double line, then you'd have one, two, three. And if you do three, you get three victory points. Which may not sound like much, but that's a big deal in this game. So does Jen, for the first time, want to hire a skilled worker because I've left it open? Or does she want to take the three bucks that have built up here and get first player? I think she wants that even more. So she's going to grab all this money, and she is now the first player. Okay. So there we go. And um, my turn again. Let's see. Do I just want to grab those hops or all that yeast? That's all very nice. Two yeast. That would really keep me in the yeast for a while. That means I'd be able to um, brew three things before I run out of yeast. That's, pre that's pretty hard. To t I'm, I'm going to take that. All right. So, and now I, I literally cannot take any more cubes. I am completely full. All right. And although, shoot, that means I'm not taking the two bucks I need. Right. So if I don't take these, as remember, I can come over. Oh, sorry. I can come over here and do the fundraising to get the two bucks so I don't have to go into debt and I'll get one item. Yeah, I think I'll do that instead. And what was I was going to do? Right, that's why I was going to take some spice. All right, there we go. So I did that instead, thanks to my events planner. And now it's Jen's last turn. And where is she going to go? So, uh, you know, Jen isn't so interested in yeast because she's got her yeast lab. Does she want to grab those hops or does she... Well, see, now that Jen is first player, she could wait till next turn and then just grab four hops instead of two. So that's pretty tempting. Um, let's see. She could still hire a skilled worker because I've left that wide open for her and she just got a bunch more money. Yeah, I think she will. She's going to take a skilled worker and she's going to do the hops converter. Uh, this a nice lady who she immediately takes four hops, one, two, three, four. Oops. And she can store it, she's got room. One, two, three, four. 
Okay. And um, at any time, Jen can convert hops into yeast. At any time, she can convert anything into spice. So she's got two. Anytime she wants, she can convert stuff if she's desperate. All right, so that was Jen's action. And now we've moved on to the lab. And since Jen took first player, she's the first to do a lab action. And that could be important if, say, multiple players were both planning at the same time for the first time to brew Sweet Surrender over here. Because the first, the, you know, whoever gets to it first, you know, it, it could make a difference, um, you know, because the first person to sell this stuff, the first person to push it on through, can score those bonus points. Um, let's see here. But what is Jen going to do? Now, does she have enough to actually start another brew? Well, considering the fact that she can make a spice anytime she wants, and she now has, oh my gosh, look at that. Yes, she does. Jen could actually start Spitfire because she's got a yeast. She's got five hops, thanks to the hops converter. She's um, got the, oh, wait, 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 yeah. Oh, it's, oh, this drives me nuts. I constantly get malt and hops mixed up. I wish, I wish they would put little colored cubes here to remind me because the word hops means nothing to me. Hops are the green things, not the brown things. All right, that is important. That is a big difference. So Jen's got a whole bunch of hops, right? Not a bunch of malt, which is what she wanted. Because if she had all that malt, she could actually do Spitfire. But she didn't. She got a whole bunch of hops. Although, you know, she can convert those hops into yeast. She can convert anything she wants into spice. But as it is, shoot, I really thought that was stupid malt and hops. Ah! All right, so anyway, so Jen does not have enough to brew anything because she does not have enough malt. She needs at least four or five, depending on which of these. Or three or four. But even still, Jen has one. So that's just, that just ain't enough. Whereas me, I've got all the malt in the world. So, um, so she's not going to do a, a, she's not going to process beer, which means this is not going to get closer to actually making money for her. But she will then, is she going to, you know what? I think she is going to do some lab research. And remember, because she has a yeast lab, whenever you do, and it actually says it right here, when you do lab research, remember, Check for your yeast lab. It's just a nice reminder because that means Jen just got one yeast for free. And she, what is she going to do? She's going to do the grand opening as well. So she can grab the two points before the year's up. Or does she want to do something else? Place one rep on an available building space uh, when you build there. So remember how I had a thing of, you know, play, you know uh, what was it? Oh, I, I forget what it was. Um, take a batch token. Yeah, take a batch token. You know, I can call out the, the thing I'm going to... Um, the beer I'm going to make, and then I can get a point when I eventually make it. Jen has, she can call out the, the um, building upgrade she's going to make, and when she does it, she gets a point. So Jen could do that if she's planning on building something later. She could grab one malt right now if she's hired a skilled worker, and she has. She can take one basic ingredient, a, a period, but even still, um, right. But she needs to be thinking about what does that get her next? You know, particularly because... No, but it'll be too late. She's going to jump up here. She won't be able to make it over here. So she's not going to unlock. She's not going to get a chance to do any winter thing in this first winter. It'll have to be in the second winter. But she'll just go on ahead. Since this is almost the end of the year, she's just going to go ahead and do growth management, same as me, and get two victory points for a grand opening before the end of the year was out. All right. So that was that. And me, but she got one yeast because of her uh, yeast lab. And so now me, I... I am going to finally make some beer. Okay, um, or, although if I don't make beer, if I do some research, I can jump up here so that I can get the winter benefit and I can still make the beer next round. At the start of winter, take advanced ingredients equal to the number of fermentation tanks you have. Here's the problem. I've got two tanks, but I've only got enough space for one thing because I'm all full up. So I, I get one advanced ingredient, that's great, but I won't get the full benefit of this. But if I don't do this right now, I'll miss the entire chance of doing it in winter at all. Oh, now I'm kind of regretting taking all this malt because I don't have enough space. Oh, shoot. Although still, one advanced ingredient. Because what do I need? Right, because I also, um, I mean, I, I need fruit to be able to make, you know, pumpkin. All right, do I research so that I can get the winter benefit? Or... Do I brew so that I can get the brew pub benefit? Well, the thing is, like I said, whether I... Well, actually, do I have enough to brew this turn and next turn? Do I have enough to do two brews in a row? I would need more yeast because you always need yeast. I certainly got... Let's see, I've got one, two, three... And yeah, I've got plenty of uh, malt. I've got plenty of hops. 
Yeah, I have a chance to do two brewings this year. So I think I am. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to miss out on my chance to get a winter benefit so that I can brew twice before the year is out. Um, and they'll both be in my brew pub, which means I'm getting victory points every time I do it. And they're going to sail that much quicker because I don't have to bottle them and then you know get them into a truck. So I am going to process some beer. Okay, I haven't done any beer yet. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to do some everyday ale. That requires three malt, two hops, and one yeast. Let's move all these back over here now. All right. And I have made everyday ale and unlocked these other more advanced ales. And I'm putting it over here. Now, it's uh, not for sale yet. I mean, this is worth two points at the end of the game, but until I brew something else over here, once it moves up here, I'll actually sell it as well. It'll go directly to the customers. Jen, she's got to move hers twice before she makes money. But remember, um, eat, get one rep each time a new batch is brewed. So I've just gotten another point. Yay! Thanks, Brew Pub Manager. You are earning your keep. All that storage and that point. All right, so we're done, and now we move on to the last round of the first year, winter. Okay. And now at the start, um, we get our winter benefit, although unfortunately, neither of us unlocked a winter benefit. And at the end of this turn, we'll finish the turn like normal, but then we'll have to pay our salaries, our operating costs. And once again, what is that? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need eight, which I have. And Jen needs one, two, three, four, five, six, and she, so she's, she's got plenty. All right, and refilling again. The money starts building back up with the private investors. Here's some more malt. Here's some more hops. Oh, look at all them hops. Look at all this yeast. Wow, okay, and Jen is first. Hmm, let's see here. Um, now, if she wants to brew something this turn, so that you know this will start moving out and start brewing some more stuff. Right, okay, what does she need? What does she need? Well, she can make the spices she needs for Spitfire just by converting something, and she has plenty of hops. So she would need five malt, and she only has one. She could come over here, but there's only three. But she could come here and then advanced or open market. Uh, let's see. For each new batch, Asian warehouse. I just need a tiny tiny yeah. Um, all right. Oh, she'd much rather wait till there's six built up here. But actually, that'd be a problem because um, she wouldn't have space to put it anyway. So I think she is. She's just going to grab this. Although, but she's got ash stuff. Should she grab it immediately or is she worried about me grabbing it? I don't think she has to worry about me grabbing it because I've already got a lot. So she probably shouldn't grab it first. She should grab something that she's afraid she wouldn't get a chance to get otherwise. Hmm. What would that be, knowing that her second action will be to grab that because she's hoping since I've got five and I don't have that much storage space that I'll leave it or that I'll take the hops. All right, she only has three storage space. Does she want to hire another skilled worker? That's pretty tempting. Um, it'll cost her another buck, but she can easily afford the salaries. Uh, let's see, the barley grower. Oh, that's interesting. The barley grower would give her one malt and then she picks up these. That's uh, three, four, five. Well, she only needs four. No, she needs five for the Spitfire. That's perfect. Jen is going to hire herself a barley grower. Now, she immediately takes one malt. But she won't have enough space. Shoot, 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 shoot. She only has space for two. This guy doesn't give any storage, does he? In addition to planning, right? No, she can't. So she just can't do it. That storage space is killing her. Right, because she'd do that, she'd run out of space, she can't store it in her yeast lab, she hasn't bought herself the, um, what do you call it, the additional storehouse where you can store an additional 12 cubes, and that's it, that's all you can do there. Although, heck, there's probably some helpers that make it better. Shoot. So she takes three, that's four, that's enough to make porter, and she has the coffee, she has, a, oh no, she can still make, she can make the noir, she can make the noir. But, that's the problem. To make the noir, she needs a barrel house because it is it has a barrel on it and she didn't build the barrel house she did her research last turn to get the two points so that means this turn she'd have to build the barrel house and she won't actually be able to make the noir oh no now do you need that barrel house or is it an optional thing i think you need it um 
All right. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, let me just double check. Uh, da, da. Right, right. Da, da, da. Yeah, the collaboration, selling new buildings and equipment, developing recipes. Right, that's all the special stuff. Process beer. Uh, da, da, da. When you bought all the information in brewery for, finally. Yeah. You require ingredients, two ingredients, uh, your brew pub. It doesn't say you need the barrel. And I'm not really certain if you need the barrel or not. Um, Draft. I think maybe the barrel just means those are, uh, you can regular those recipes anyway. It's just um, if you build a barrel house, uh, you get the chance to score more points. I think that's what it is. I, I do think. I could be wrong about that. Um, in the past, we've just kind of assumed that you had to do this and, um, you know, we just stayed away from stuff. But now I think about it, I don't think you need to because the rules don't say that as far as I know. If I'm wrong, Paolo will correct it. But anyway, I'm going to assume no, that Jen could go for this if she just gets that. Well, she's going to convert that one spice. She's got the one coffee. She just needs. So that means she needs these. But, right, she was going to get those anyway, but what, who is she going to hire? Not this guy, because she, be, she won't have room for what she picks up. Harvest one additional fruit for each planted fruit. If Jen has this farmer, and then the first thing next season, or, you know, in, in next season, she makes some farmland, she'll have a farmer that lets her be much more productive. That's pretty tempting. Um, a local partnership, or she could uh, get another local partnership so she can um, convert stuff into coffee the same way she can convert stuff into spice. She does need to be able to have a good um, source of coffee for noir. Um, all right, she already has a lot. No, when you receive only yeast from an action market, well, see, that's kind of at odd. She's not going to receive yeast much from market space because she gets that when she re researches. So I think, I think, I think Jen is going to hire somebody and it'll be the farmer. And so that means in the next season, she, first thing she's gonna to wanna to do is get this farm built so she can start growing her own crops. And this guy will make it better. All right, although he's not gonna do anything in the short term, and that's kind of a bummer because Jen's getting him now, paying his, no, that, she's not gonna do that because she doesn't wanna pay his salary when he doesn't do anything. She should get him next, after salary's over. So, she's not gonna hire somebody. She doesn't have room for the other stuff, Interestingly, I think Jen's just gonna go fundraising and take two bucks because she knows I want to do it And by doing that she's blocked me and therefore I won't get to use my events planner. I'm like no No So now what am I gonna do? I think I, I just can't say no to all this yeast. This is awesome. So I'll just oops. Oh, and there went the box I thought I tilted that up well enough. All right. We'll just go on ahead and leave you like that Busted box. Okay, that looks good. All right, so I'm taking the three yeast so I can store up to six things here. All right, so, and now Jen is gonna go for not very much, but she needs that malt. And my last action, I could take first player back. I could hire another skilled worker. Although no, if I hire another skilled worker, I'll be short. I won't have enough cash. Although I'm gonna brew something. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I wanna brew something. What can I brew? Oh, right. I need to go to the advanced market. Because I've got my spice, but I need my fruit. Or I need my second spice, one or the other, to be able to make this or this. Uh, and this one's actually worth more points, but I need one more hop. So I'm going to come to the market, and I'm going to get me one hops and one spice. And I've got enough space. There's my spice. Put my hops over here. And so that was that. I've got everything I need to be able to brew again. Okay, so we're done with that. And so um, what was Jen going to do? Right, she is going to process some beer, and now first of all, she's going to use her spices importer to swap one of these hops into some spice, isn't that nice? And then that's going to let Jen make Noir Porter, because it needs four malt, one hops, one yeast, one spice, and one coffee. That was a lot of stuff, but... Um, Jen has made that. Now, this moves on into bottling, and this moves over here. The, as soon as Jen makes another thing, this will actually come out here and make Jen some cash. Um, so right now, Jen has made seven points worth of beer. And so that was that. Right? Yes. And so her storage house is empty again, so she can start saving up, saving up space to make some more beer. Okay. And, and she didn't... Um, right, no, she did do this. She did do this, yeah. I was thinking she maybe didn't, but she did. Okay, 
And me, I am also going to process some beer. And, right, because I'm going to make high country, which requires two spice, one yeast, five hops, which is crazy, and four malt. Wow. That is a lot of cubes. But it was worth it because that is eight points. And um, I put this in here. That means this gets pushed out. I get one more victory point because of my brew pub manager. And now that this is pushed out here, I make two bucks for selling it to the public. Doesn't matter what beer you sell, you always make two bucks. So now I've got more than enough money to cover my expenses. And so that was it. And now it's the end of winter. We got to pay up. And so I owe eight. And Jen, once again, what's she owe? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So Jen owes seven. All right, and so at the end of the year, I'm down to two bucks. Jen's still got five bucks. Um, but I've made um, more points than her, but she's made more money than me. And, uh, right, so we paid up. We're moving on to year two. And Jen is still first. We gotta pull all the stuff back. Bit, oops, bippity bop, refill. More money is appearing with the investors. More malt to start building up again. Look at that, six crazy hops. That's madness. And one yeast. Um, right, so Jen can't say no to all those hops. I mean, she'll just be saved for hops for the rest of the game. Plus, remember, she can convert hops into yeast anytime she wants. Now she's kind of regretting having built that yeast house because she's got this hops converter that's a much better way. Wow, so many hops, all the hops. Although for her, that's all hops or yeast. Interesting, okay, <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, yeah, Jen's definitely gonna have to build some storage. Yes, 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 yes. Um, right, and my turn, I am, what am I gonna do? Do I wanna grab first player? There's two bucks here. Do I wanna hire another worker and raise my prices even more? Um, do I wanna start thinking about making pumpkin ale now so I can get the other three points for getting that to sale as well? That means I need spice and fruit. So I could come to the advanced market to get a spice or a fruit, or I could come to the fundraiser and get two bucks plus anything I want. And Jen blocked me out of there last time. She might do it again. That would be a bummer. Or do I wanna get the skilled worker? Ooh, I, I don't want to bother with just three malt. That's not really that big a deal. Although actually it is, it is. Because here's the thing, if I don't take this now, Jen, who's first player, next turn that'll be six and she'll grab it. Although she won't have any space to store it unless she makes you know a storehouse or something. And you can only build one thing per turn. <sighs> That's interesting. Um, right. Yeah, all those hops are really kind of a problem for Jen. Although remember, she can convert them into spices. So she's gonna need some room though to get some malt because without malt, you can't make beer either. Apparently that's a key ingredient. Who knew, go figure. And if Jen's gonna want to start working on the Spitfire, she needs five malt. But see, here's the thing. What Jen really wanted to do was she wanted to build her farm this turn instead of you know installing equipment so, I mean, as soon as she builds it in spring, she could then plant hops to start generating more hops and she could plant fruit. So if she's gonna do that, she's gonna be getting a lot of hops. So maybe she didn't want all six of these hops right off the bat. That was actually probably pretty dumb. She doesn't have the space to store it. She's gonna be growing her own hops soon. Yeah, maybe instead she should grab the malt and just keep on um, grabbing it. But you know what? She has a lot of options here. And I think I'm gonna stop right there because you guys have seen one full, um, the first third of the game. The game just continues to escalate as you build up more and more stuff, more and more infrastructure. Uh, you know, start being able to produce two and bottle two at the same time. Having a tasting room, which can score you all kinds of points. Having more storage. Uh, having a mash turn, which I think, I forget what does something with malt. And also trying to avoid loans, which are worth, um, you know, big negative points. The more of them you take at the end of the game. Um, while still trying to leverage your special workers, etc., etc. And that, folks, is... Brew crafters. And if you'd like to hear some final thoughts now, you can hit the button that's on screen or follow the show notes in five, four, three, two, one.